Cupota, CQ Poto, Whiskey 7, Juliet, Sierra, Juliet. CQ Poto, CQ Poto, Whiskey 7, Juliet, Sierra, Juliet. 73. QRZ. Ah, uh, round two, starting over. So, didn't, totally forgot the power, or the volume buttons are on the top, PTT's on the top. It was hitting the top up here. I'm worried that it's going to always tell the PTT uh, to work. So, uh, moved it down one. Um, obviously, not going to be able to use two screws, which isn't a big deal. I mean, this thing's light. I just got to figure out how I want to do the the microphone cable uh also the data cable which the data cable will go into the side so that won't matter but i think i'm gonna put the amp up here like i was originally planning on doing uh, i made some brackets so uh these brackets will will mount down to the mount down to the shelf and then i'm gonna put velcro on the face of them so this will actually be velcroed onto there so when i want to take it out uh and use it for summits uh on the air i can and obviously i'm not taking a 100 watt amplifier with me so it'll just be qrp doing it that way so that's where we're at and i'll get back to it and show you guys another progress report before i put this into the box i wanted to show you guys what uh what i did here so speaker down here mounted little spots up here that you see the amps going to sit on top of there what i did is i took some metal and i bent it as you can see just bent some samson ties uh right where i wanted it right to the height of the back of my radio drilled those into the shelf and then i drilled down the power because if I ever need another one or anything, I'm just going to buy another one. Those I cut off as well. So all those are cut off. We're going to get this thing in and then uh, go for round two. All right. So here it is put in before anything else goes in. I will say this. If you're looking at getting a rack shelf, uh, I got mine triple vented. Just because I wanted to make sure there was enough air going through this thing. But this thing gets put together myself with flathead tips and a little nut on the back of those. You can adjust the shelf as you can see in the back back there. So you can tilt it. This is flat. It tilts at an angle more and more. Which I think is kind of interesting. You can also mount this the other way. So this can go up here, a stev down here, so you can switch where it is there. But in the back, there's a center one where you can uh, use the center one as well in the back. I'm not exactly sure for what. I will say that uh, I probably would not buy this one again. I didn't realize how cheap it was when I bought it. It was just one of the cheapest ones that had all the venting I wanted in it. And I knew I was going to drill into it like crazy, which whatever. I just wish that these put on here, that they would have added another screw halfway back. Because uh, it's kind of a little bit chintzy when uh, when you're trying to put stuff on it and do stuff. And I just, I don't know, I just expected with all these, with all these holes that they put in there. I don't know why they didn't uh why they didn't add more of those to be screws that went through the the 90 plates so anyways uh just keep an eye out for that uh, i'm not gonna say who it is honestly i actually don't know it came in a blank box but uh i'm not gonna <clears throat> i'm not gonna look it up i mean i'm not here to tear down people's product it probably works great for what it's designed for just a little bit chintzier than what I thought. All right, if you're still watching, we're going to do a up close, show you how everything's hooked up. Uh, Want to go through it really quick. Uh, easiest one's the speaker. Mount it with two screws underneath. Wire comes up the side. 
through across the top where it's zip tied. I have it zip tied to the uh, BNC connector that just comes down. I have a plug in uh, so it's always powered even though it, I understand it doesn't need to be but I have been out um, a couple times where halfway through a contact my battery dies in my radio because I didn't do the math of how long it takes and all that. Anyways, um, so I have that always plugged in. Um, that is so then it can go to the amplifier. This is the uh, microphone. And what I did was, oh, what I did was I sent those down inside and then they just come out underneath. So I have that zip tied um, underneath there and then it actually just routes right back up. Uh, I have this zip tied um, underneath just for the fact of right there, it likes to come out. If that gets loose, it doesn't work in a heartbeat. So um, wanna make sure that, that has no reason of getting pulled on or anything else. Obviously I showed you this. So what this is is a uh, in-ear, molded in-ear uh, headphones that I put on there, just in case I ever have to just unplug that uh, if it's loud outside somewhere. Um, and I just gotta plug in some headphones. I'd rather have them than wish that I did. And they were in my to-go box um, anyway, so I just transfer them over. All right, and for the back, uh, like I said, that's the BioNO charger. Uh, I'm not going to Velcro it in here. I don't know that that's going to stay in here. I mean, it's convenient, but I'd like to take this spot right here and actually put just my powered converter in here. Um, I have some other options as well that I'm trying to debate through. So um, here it is. Basically, I have that uh, zip tied in there. I have all the wires zip tied so they can't move either so that it can't come loose. Uh, that's the power up there is going to be the power that comes back to right here. This is the power that loops underneath, or sorry, that's the data cable that loops underneath and comes over here and plugs in. This is simple, comes straight across, goes up into it. That goes over, like I was saying, here's where it's closer. So I have these all doubled. Um, I can put whatever fuses I want, um, obviously up to 40 because that's the max on this. And then I'm just going to come underneath and somewhere up underneath here, just put a USB. So this uh, antenna cable routes and I just have it zip tied right here. It routes. Oh, is it going to focus? I don't think it is. Um, let me click on it and see if that's better. Okay, there we go. So yeah, that just routes right across the top. I have this zip tied in uh, with three heavy duty zip ties strapped together um, down to the plate. I actually had to cut this right here um, and bend this down because it was actually longer. Uh, I think they sent me the wrong shelf, but it is what it is. I know how to fix it. Um, it's not a big deal. So I just cut it and bent this down how I needed it to, and uh, and then just zip tied everything to it so it can't move. So that's the uh, that's the simple fix. So, oh, and up close, um, I did have someone on Instagram ask me about this. So all this is a piece of Velcro. I just put a square on there, put a square on here. Um, like I said, it's 10 pound. Uh, Velcro, so I mean, it might wobble back and forth, but it's not going to come off and be beaten around inside the box, so I'm not too worried, but uh, yeah, that's the back of it, and uh, the faces, I know someone made a comment about, about that the faces are the exact same on the front and back, I guess I'll just have to figure something else out. What I've done before on our amp racks for audio is normally up top here. I'll uh, I'll make a sticker that uh, that just says front, and then put a sticker back here that says back. Most of our amp racks that we have 
uh, are actually like that anyways. So I'll just put a sticker on it. Thanks for watching.